Welcome to Hivika Technologies. For more updates, please like and do subscribe. Hello all, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I am going to show you guys how to uh, you know use a Python code or python.py file in uh, A2019. So I just come up with a very small uh, you know uh, use case. Uh, I just created one uh, Python file which is extended with the .py. So today uh, we will be going to you know see how we can call that code in uh, automation. Well, let's see the code uh, what exactly I wrote. So basically same like uh, if you can uh, remember in the previous uh, tutorials on uh, DLL. So I have created one uh, date format change uh, you know DLL for uh, Metabots right custom custom one and the same we have used it in automation where a 2019 so the same fashion uh, today we are going to see uh, one customized uh, python.py uh, uh, code script file and we are going to call this so same the functionality would be remain same so we will plug uh, one date and uh, respective format whichever we are expecting as the output so that's going to be converted as for uh, you know our requirement it has to take uh, date also a uh, one input and the format also one input and uh, which is going to uh, give the expected output whatever the format we used to give right that expected output it is going to give so this is the function and this is uh, the input string it will be combination of both uh, a date as well as uh, format and this will be taken it as a date and this will be format and it will be converted uh, you know it, it should be the date should be a month day and year format and whatever the format which you are going to give in the you know input that is going to be converted into our expected way okay uh, this is what the code and uh, let's see how we can uh, build our code let's create a new task so okay so as usual uh, like uh, once you into you know into a 2019 ui you can uh, search for python so you can see uh, open execute function and uh, execute script let's take this open so here uh, there are different options uh, one is import existing file either it's from control room or it's from desktop or it's from variable so if you have some something which you already uploaded in the control room then you can call that python file here if you have something which is there in your desktop then you have to use this one let me uh, you can just copy paste the path of uh, you know the particular uh, file So you can see copy as path. We take this. So I just given that uh, you know path. A, there would not be uh, quotations. So that's what it's throwing an error. Let me remove that. And uh, you need to find out uh, what is the Python version. It's very simple. If you have uh, installed the Python, you can uh, just go to CMD. There, if you can uh, you know search for. Python you can easily get the see it is uh, 3.8.3 let's uh, it's already selected uh, this one and uh, let's go to execute function or executes let's go to execute function so here we need to give the function to be executed and arguments and then you have to give return value where where it wanted to be stored so here the function would be this one uh, here is the one we take that and the arguments i will uh, pass it to prompt assignment and uh, even i will take the output also to this one let's use uh, close and then uh, let's take message box and display the value So uh, here uh, let's 
let's say output prompt assignment will, uh, will store this output I think uh, we are good so I need to pass the input right so prompt assignment is also a input variable I have just let's do one thing let's uh, take uh, you know prompt for value and uh, pass it uh, whenever I run uh, the bot from you know during the runtime So let's see what is the formats which uh, Python will allow. Then we will uh, give that path, okay? That uh, particular uh, format. is going to run from the py file uh, python code file so i saw few of the videos which they hard coded or which they directly you know copy the script instead of taking dot py file and a few of them were uh, taken from you know, control room so this is the way you can directly take it from the uh, desktop of your local machine okay so let's say uh, mm right let's say uh, 10 iPhone day will be 21 iPhone 2020 20 year comma and percentage whatever the way I want I can give it let's say uh, percentage year slash which means year will come first and then let's say month percentage month which is small m and then slash percentage d okay let's click ok see the output has come whatever I given right first we given percentage capital Y which is a year and a month which is 10 and then day but the actual input what we given is month day and year but this is way we can convert if you want some other way also you can get it so this is like you can pass the input and you can take the output whatever the format your wish let me try one more time and uh, try with some different format but input date format should be remain same keep this in mind input date format should be remain same you can convert the output whatever you want okay 
so month again month or let's say 11 iphone 25 iphone 20 19 come on now let's try with let's say i wanted a uh, day will be the first let's say percentage uh, small d slash and then year it's a percentage let's say small y now which means it's not going to give the four digit year it is going to give the last two digits which means which we are going to get only 19 slash and percentage m percentage m so the output what we are expecting day will be 25 and uh, year will be it give only two character which would be 19 then month 11 so it should be 25 slash 19 slash 11 see this is this is what we can get it so instead of 2019 it just come 19 because i just given smaller small lowercase y so that is the reason okay so this is how we can call the uh, python uh, code uh, in terms of dot py file in automation anywhere year 2019 and even you can plug input parameters i can say arguments to the script and even you can take the output uh, from that python code i hope uh, this video helps you to uh, understand uh, how to use python in a 2019 uh, to get uh, more uh, notification and updates on my further uh, tutorials please do like uh, share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye bye i hope this video helps you to get more updates please like and subscribe the channel please leave your comments and questions in the comments section we'll get back to you